You know, I remember a time when I always used to get shitty ass sleep. I would stay up on my phone late at night. I'd be watching like Baki or something, some random TV show, maybe watching some YouTube video, trying to learn Spanish, a TV show, and I'd be literally leaning. I'd be too lazy, too tired to like actually sit up and watch the show. So I'd like lay s sideways on my bed with the phone and watch it until I fell asleep. I'd literally, every night I'd fall asleep watching TV. That's how fucking horrible, how messed up my sleep was. But nowadays I've changed my ways of sleep. I now get normally the best quality sleep I've ever gotten. In this point in my life, I've managed to get way better sleep than ever before. And it's with these few tactics that I'm gonna run down with you in today's video. These are scientifically based. These are no like bullshit placebo effect things. These are all real. They will help you. The first and most important one that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is, as you would expect, light exposure. Humans are designed to rise and sleep with the sun in coordination with the sun. When the sun is up, you are up. When the sun is down, you are supposed to be down. We still have that monkey in us, our monkey brain, that when we see blue light on our phones, it's going to keep us awake. The sun has blue light, and that fucks with our brains, and it's going to keep us awake. So, an hour before bed, limit your blue light exposure. There's many ways to do this. If you're going to sit in your room, you can have red light. Red light is super good. You see that light right there? Red light. It's going to... It's the lowest light on the spectrum. It's the furthest away from blue. So it's not going to keep you up. It is perfectly sleep oriented. <laughs> Amazing for your sleep. Next one, and this is depending on your situation, how your house is ran, what goes on. But what I like to wear is earplugs. I have a pair of these like gel earplugs that I'll put in completely safe of course for sleeping you can I'll roll them up I'll put them in my ear before sleep you know my dad has to wake up early to go to work my dogs bark sometimes in the middle of the night I have a hot tub running right next to me a air radiator for the fish tank and so in order for me to get some good sleep I do have these earplugs which do drastically help me next one on the list also very useful for any of you guys who are mouth breathers. You're going to want to use micro pore tape on your mouth. What you do before you go to sleep, before you go to sleep, tape your mouth shut. And what's it gonna do? Well, when you sleep, a lot of us are mouth breathers. If you're naturally a mouth breather, you're gonna sleep and you're gonna sleep somewhat like this. Yeah, you don't wanna be a mouth breather. It's going to impact you there's a lot of negative effects to mouth breathing. There's an entire book based around the effects of mouth breathing versus nose breathing. So, in summary, when you breathe through your mouth, you're more susceptible to infections, you you get a worse jawline. Now, this one's optional, but I think the last one on the list, blocking out lights. Like, if your room's just not dark and you don't have blackout shades or anything, you live in the city maybe, there's lights out, you might want to consider getting a sleeping mask. It's going to black out all of the light. And that's really going to help you to get a better night's sleep. I personally, I tried using one, but I, it doesn't stay on me. I like toss and turn it to lunch at night. Maybe think of getting a sleeping mask. 